Eagles get ready for the Giants. Do we have another opportunity to plug some of these leaks? What's going on, folks? This is Coach Marcus for Pro Fan Talk. Eagles get ready to face the New York Giants at home. We've got another opportunity to right this ship, kind of plug some leaks, but we got to go about it the right way. The concern is the offense, the efficiency, taking care of the football. That game the other night was supposed to be won by the Philadelphia offense. No contest. The Eagles, the Eagles offense did not show up in Seattle. That was a very winnable game. And in this situation, with everything that happened with Matt Patricia and Sean Desai getting demoted up to the box and all of that kind of stuff, the defense played well enough to win. The offense, however, we just didn't show up. Very similar to what Miami did in Germany with Kansas City. They had an opportunity to win that game, but the first half just didn't show up. We were no different. We made mistakes. We're doing the same stuff. we putting the ball on the ground, and you cannot do that. Hey, the way Jalen Hurts has looked, you've heard me say, right? I've told you in some shows, and I've been saying it on my podcast, he's in some bad habits. That game, the offense should have ran all over the Seattle Seahawks. Minus the first drive. The first drive was perfect. Jalen was running the ball, but not too much. We spread him out. We moved the ball downfield, and that's the only time we did it. We had trouble ever since that first drive, and we couldn't get it right after that. We still turning the ball over. Jalen had two interceptions, costly interceptions. So I don't know if it was because he was sick. I don't know if it was because when you're sick, jump, you drop back into bad habits because you're tired. Whatever the situation is, we had an easy opportunity to win that game and we didn't. And we still making costly mistakes. There's a handful of plays every game where I go, that guy's open. Why don't we throw it? Why did we leave the pocket? So I think when you couple that with some of the turnovers, I'm concerned about their offense. Turnovers are a costly mistake. Not taking advantage of the opportunities we get is a costly mistake. Our defense had uh, two possible interceptions we could have gotten, and we didn't. Moreau got one, and I think uh, James Bradbury dropped one. So the closer we get to the playoffs, those opportunities, you got to take advantage of them. Our margin of error is getting thinner and thinner the closer we get to the playoffs. Now we got the Giants, we got the Cardinals, then we got the Giants again. So we got three games where we can get it right. There's no reason why we shouldn't beat the Giants at home. They're going to jump on the, the Boston Scott bandwagon, the Giant Killer. We need to get him in the game more. We got to do something. And it goes back to that same question about the creativity on the offense. I don't know what they're doing. It's not on. It's not all on Brian Johnson. I do not like the way he calls plays. However, he is not out there throwing interceptions. He is not out there overlooking open receivers. He is not out there leaving the pocket when he doesn't have to. That's not on Brian Johnson. They don't practice that during the week. That's on Jalen Hurts. And I love Jalen Hurts, but we got to keep it 100. That's on him. QB1 has got to make the right decisions. And we know he can do it because he's done it before. A lot of those games where they say we got lucky, it was still him running the offense, and we still went down the field and scored when we had to. Now it just looks like our offense is just totally inept. So we got to fix that part of it. That To me, that's what happens when you press too much. I do think he's trying to get the ball to A.J. Brown. Like I mentioned earlier, he is missing open receivers. Those are the bad habits he's talking about. We can bitch moan and complain about all of these media heads, but you know what? Sometimes they get it right. And I'll say it again. I've been saying it for the last four weeks. We are not getting exposed. We are getting exploited. Everybody knows what we do. Whatever offense we play, the New York Giants tomorrow, if they don't go after James Bradbury, they're stupid. Until James Bradbury shows you he can play up the par, I would attack him every chance I get. Every chance I get, I would attack his side of the field and him specifically. Move the move the uh, personnel around so you got a fresh body going after James Bradbury. His tongue would be hanging out by the end of the game. To me, that sounds strategy. You recognize what the weak link is and you go after it until they prove that they can stop it. Until James Bradbury flicks the switch or whatever he got to do. Teams are going to continue to attack him. Teams are going to continue to attack our linebackers in the middle of the field until we prove we can stop it. Haven't done that yet. Our tackling still sucks. We got to get better. We running out of time. We got three games to get it fixed. Then we start the playoffs. When you start the playoffs, everybody's on the even field. But if you're not playing up to your potential, it's going to be a short trip. We might be one and done before it's all said and done.
So the Eagles don't have big holes to fix. To me, it's common sense problem. We need to run the ball off tackle, not up the middle all the time. Use DeAndre Swift and the check downs. And Jalen Hurts has got to stop turning the ball over. He's got to start making smart plays, throw the ball to his running backs, take what the defense gives you. So we've got fixable problems. So we'll see tomorrow when the Giants come to town. Let's see if the birds can handle their business. Go birds.